Hello, my name is Kevin Garland. I want to do a quick video on how to change the settings in the HPS A700 servos from Fataba using the Fataba 32MZ. If you look on this piece of paper, it shows that if we want to use this particular servo on a surface such as the rudder, we need to change the damper factor in the stretcher gain. The default value for <clears throat> the damper factor is 115 and the stretcher gain default value is 1.0. So what we're going to do, there's two ways you can do this. One way is to buy the programming, programming cable um, that's on the Fataba USA website and hook the servo up directly to a uh, Windows computer and download the software online. If you have the 32MZ radio, you can simply just plug the servo into the back of the transmitter. If you're just doing one servo at a time, you can simply just plug this servo directly to the transmitter. So in the back of the transmitter here, you also want to make sure the radio is turned off. There's a port on the bottom. Let me put the camera down here. So underneath here, let me get the flap open. Underneath here, you'll see the servo port there, and we will plug in the servo into that port. So I'm going to put the phone down real quick. Plug in the servo. There we go. So white's gonna be on the far left, black on the far right from the back. So we're gonna turn the radio back around. And we'll turn the radio on and let it boot up. All right, so what menu you want to go into is go to the system, hit the second page, and then go to SBUS servo. When you get to this menu, you want to hit recall, and that will bring up the servo, and the servo is now powered over here. Um, so the two settings we need to change is the damper factor and the stretcher gain. So the damper factor is right here. You simply hit this. It's stocked at 15. We need to go up to 144. So we're gonna knock it up to 144. We wanna change the stretcher gain from 1.0 to 0.75. Here's the stretcher gain. And we just wanna knock that down to 0.75. When we're done with this, we're gonna go up here and hit right. And now the settings are on the servo. And if you see, if you move the alien on stick, because this is assigned to channel one currently, the servo does move. Um, some other little cool things you can do in here is change the neutral offset. This is good for when you want to center the servo arm directly 90 degrees. Uh, soft start, you can turn that off or make it turn on even softer than what it does. I usually leave that to stock. Um, and then you can adjust the travel inputs here left and right, but I normally leave those at 100%. Um, when you're done, you can turn the transmitter off and uh, your servo will be ready to operate for a rudder servo in this case. Um, in my experience for the elevator and ailerons, I have left the stock settings and have not had any issues with the servo. Um, so for now, um, I'll go ahead and turn the transmitter off. And we'll unplug the servo and we'll be good to go. Thank you.